Good morning on a lovely bright spring day at Leeds Harmonica. It's really nice outside, the light. I, I love when spring starts coming in and the, the quality of the light changes and everything starts to look much nicer. I don't know, it, uh, it's that coming into summer thing that uh, I get a little bit of uh, seasonal defective disorder in reverse because it just makes me happy to see that light again. <laughs> anyway, harmonicas, D harmonicas, I hate them. And the reason I hate them is because of all the keys of harmonica, I find them the most difficult to play. And there's no reason that should be, particularly, I don't think. I've tried different manufacturers, different brands, different models. Um, this is a custom D harp, which is very nicely set up indeed. And I still struggle with it. Um, the other one that I'm use sometimes, depending on the song, this one feels a bit better. And this is just an out of the box crossover. But I do struggle to get a good tone. I struggle to get good bends. And I don't know why that is, unless there's something particular about the way the reeds are on a D harmonica and the way my particular mouth is. I can't think of anything else. I'm fine above. You know, I can go higher, no problem. And I can go lower, no problem. Um, which is really weird. Oh, I've just worked out what it is. Ah, <laughs> silly me. Okay, really the reason that I'm bad on D harps is because I don't like playing them and I've avoided it as much as possible, obviously. If I played D harps a lot more, I'd be better at them. There's the lesson, see? Um, I got there through talking myself through it, obviously. That's the reason I'm bad at D. But the point remains that I still do find them trickier than other harps. If I was to play nothing but a D harp for two months, right, I'd be probably be really good at it. Um, and there's the lesson. If something's hard, you just need to spend more time with it, obviously. <laughs> so anyway, this week I've picked a, uh, a song in A so that I can play some D cross harp uh, and a lick in uh, A, obviously. So let's get on with it. Uh, right oh, this is uh, a Kim Wilson lick that I've pinched off a video which you'll find in the description. Um, I've picked it because it's quite straightforward and it sounds quite simple but there are some challenges in there. Dip on the one draw up to the natural. Ooh, ah, hold it for a bit, bring it back down. Ooh, ah, ooh. And then a pull on one, two, three. Ooh, ah, ooh. And then we've got the uh, three, six octave. So <clears throat> the challenges there are obviously the bending on the one hole, um, getting the pull to come after that and then jumping all the way up and hitting the octave cleanly, um, which is something I'm not used to doing, actually, so I'm probably gonna be a bit variable when I start playing this. So anyway, um, it's a really good lick. Oh, and the other th good thing about it is that it's amenable, very amenable to um, being messed about with. Uh, you know, you can put your own spin on this, so that you can vary it very easily. Um, so if you take this as sort of a lick skeleton, you can then, uh, make it your own, which is what I'm going to try to do. Um, MCCD session, Chicago Groove in A, obviously linked below also. As I always do, I'm going to play the lick by itself through the first chorus and then I'm going to start experimenting with it, seeing what it can give up to me. <clears throat> um, and also, obviously, I'm hamstringing myself having a bloody D harmonica. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, like I say, um, that's a very interesting lick actually. I've only just learnt it this morning, so about five minutes before recording this, so I'm going to spend a bit more time with that. I enjoyed that. I hope you do too. I'll see you later.